Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a first impressions video. Quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. The videos are not made for or intended for children. So today I've got the 120 set of uh, Limache watercolour brush pens. So let's have a look. So they come in this sort of case without a handle on the top, which is nice. There are lots of beautiful colours. I'm just going to pull them out. Here's a sort of a colour swatch. and But the only thing is there are no names and there are no numbers on the pens. So that's the only thing I thought that oh, I'm not really keen on. So I'm just pulling out all the bits of paper. Make sure there's nothing else in there that I'm missing. So let's have a quick look at what we've got. So we get this sort of swatch thing, but there's no colour names on them. So it's important to keep them in this sort of order. So what I can do is I can swatch them, I can put a label on them saying and put, and put numbers on, um, which I might do. Um, won't be in this video. Mm, I could do. I'll need a notebook. I'll find one in a second. Uh, but let's take a look at the pens themselves. So there's uh, Five trays, one, two, three, four, five trays of various colours. So sort of pinks and reds, purples, yellows, oranges, more sort of pinks, flesh colours and greens. Then we go through greeny blues, through to the earth tones and the browns and the blacks and the greys and stuff. Silver there, looks like a silver one. Um, so let's take a look at one of the pens first of all. Take this very first one out of the thing so they're round and they are tapered so it's thinner at this end than at this at this end these are dual tipped so it says limache on the barrel as you can see and it tells you which is which so on this end you've got your brush which is a nice size And then on this side, you've got a very fine tip for writing or detail. So if you want to get into those little bits, you can. And it helps if you try and put the top on the right way. Let's see, how do they go on like that? Oh, that's quite nice. Nice little click there. So let me see if I've got a swatch book handy. Where have I put my swatches? Right, let me just grab one. Ooh, we'll use this one. This is one we've been using. It uses up quite big paper. They're quite big gaps. My small one is downstairs, unfortunately. So this is one we used for the... Uh... So I'm just gonna have a quick swatch through some of the colors. One at a time. And we'll use the, obviously, the brush pen. And what we'll do, I will I will just number them. So these are supposed to be watercolour brushes, so I'm assuming you can activate them with water. But you don't I don't think you need to looking at it. Let me just get one of my water pens, my water brushes. Where have I put them? I've put them away so I can't. I'll do that in a minute. Let's just do So these are all very nice shades of red. It's just typical. You, you'd st I tidied up the other day and now I don't know where anything is. So I'm just going to have a look and see if you do activate these if you need to or if you can use it like that. I won't be a second. Right, I've, I've just had a quick look and they're watercolour pens but putting water on them doesn't actually do anything so you don't use water on them. One, two, three, four. On to the bright reds now. Let's have a quick look. Ooh, look at that, that's a nice colour. As I don't need to fill in the whole thing, just so we can have a quick look. So I will number them. I will get some small sticky labels. And I'll just keep them in this order in the pack. And I'll... Uh... <sighs> nice colours. I admit, I'm quite impressed by the colour range because I'm, I mean, I'm still in the red and pinks at the moment. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we'll go to the top of the next page. So we're just going to very, very quickly swatch these through. Nice. 
I don't know if you can blend with these. You might be able to. We'll have to have a look. I'm just saying because there are some flesh colours, they might be nice to work in with like a Hannah Lynn or a Selena Fennec book. Oh, that's nice. The good thing about these is you can swatch very quickly. And I can always go in and fill in the holes later if I want to. But this is just for a guide so I know what colour's what. These are lovely colours, look. I know I'm a bit... Let me just push you back in a bit, that's better. I mean, look how nice these colours are. I'm looking forward to having a look at the yellows. Yeah. Um, I will probably get a different case for these at some point, just because it's not the easiest thing to wield when you're trying to colour in a, a small space. Um, so like when Jennifer's sitting with me, these aren't going to be easy to use, to be honest, because I'll have nowhere to put them because she sits right next to me. That one's a bit dented. So far, I'm loving the colour range. They, it goes down very nicely. I, I like the way they hold in the hand as well, being left-handed. I am finding that when I'm putting them back in, I'm getting a lot of ink on me, but that might just be because I'm going so trying to go fast because obviously there's no colour names to write down, so it's just so that we can have a look. And I must remember to go and put Limache at the top. So these ones, I can't remember how much they're, $35.99 on Amazon UK, I think they were for the 120 set. And I know other people like the, I like the brand Limache, I've never used them. And I wanted something that was similar to the Twi markers, which these are, but weren't as expensive. Because these, the, the, I mean, the RTs are brand sort of mid range. They're not, they, they're not top of the range. They're not 100% cheap and budget, but they are. They're a decent brand, and I'm not showing you what I'm doing, so I do apologise. Oh, look at that colour. That is gorgeous. But it doesn't match really the top. I suppose it does a little bit. That's the first tray, so I know I'm going to need five pages. So that's the entire whole tray. Wow. I'll turn the page. Oh yeah, it does go through slightly, as you can see. And we're on to the next page, and we're still with the purples and purpley colours. That you can see is where I put the water down on it, and it's not really moved any, it hasn't moved any other pigment around, so. Other than pushed it through. Nice, that's a nice blue, purpley blue. Gorgeous. And you got the fine points. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a colour in uh, one of the Camellia Angel Cover books, uh, 101 Mandalas. Just going to have a look at the first one, 101 Unique Mandalas. Um, so that way we can try both the brush end on the bigger bits and the very fine tip on uh, the smaller pieces. Oops. Dropped some liquid on there. That's a nice colour. Now obviously, normally with mandalas, I would I just pick two or three colours, so I might just do a mad colour in one and see what we end up with. So we're onto the other. Ooh, that's bright. That's highlighter bright, that's neon. But this one looks almost neon as well. That one, they look very similar. It's slightly greener, I'd say, this one. Oh, that's even more neon. That's even more highlighter yellow. I love it. I do like a good range of yellows in my pens and pencils. But yeah, they're very easy to hold. They're very comfortable. It goes down very, very nicely. The brush isn't splaying. So. And they're slightly different tones, so you're getting a good range of tones. Oh, look at that. Moving into the orangey colours now. Again, I do love a good selection of orange. And I know I keep forgetting to pull the book up so you're not seeing it. Oh, look at that. 
that's a nice one. They're nice and these brushes. I'm going to get into the real bright oranges soon. Nice sort of umber colour, isn't it? Ooh. Oh yeah, That's, these are nice. I'm liking these. I do like them, but I think I will get a case for them. As much as I like the fact that the case they come in have got handles, which is very handy, I just think a proper pencil case would be easier, because now I've forgotten which one I've put back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sometimes. The one I thought, but I just needed to check. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that colour. These are really nice, actually. Yep, I'm liking these oranges. Look at those. So other than the Monarch Black Widow set, I won't be buying any more supplies for a while. And you'll probably see the Monarch video before you see this one, to be honest. Because I've got a few more to go up before this one. So, yeah, I won't be buying any more supplies for a while. Need to start saving some money again. Oh, but I am really glad I got these. These are lovely. I kind of like the toy markers. And I love my twine markers. I'm not going to stop using them. But I like the range of colours. And I probably will still get the 120 set at some point. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Sort of a ready orange, that one. That one there. That's nice. Yeah, I'm getting a bit covered in this stuff. Right, what's next? More oranges. Oh, and then the skin tones. Lovely. I'm looking forward to these. Or the light skin tones, I should say. Still more orange. Oh, look at that. That's quite a nice colour. Oh, that's weird. That's a very weird colour. It's more yellow than orange. That's supposed to be that colour. I don't think that's right somehow, but uh, never mind. That's what the next one's like. I don't think, mm, yeah, <laughs> that was a bit of a shock. Well, that's a bit better. Well, that's quite nice, yeah. Let's have a look at this one. This one. Yep. And these pinks are very yellow. I mean, again, I'm sure that's supposed to be more of a skin tone pink. And it's coming out yellow. It's very odd. I don't mean to say. But if, I mean, it's usable for something, but... That's better. Still a bit yellow, but... They're still nice colours, so, you know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice colour. Next one. Like I said, I'm really speeding through these. Well, that one looks more like that. No, it's not too bad. It looks a lot brighter on camera, the actual pigment. Oh, that's nice. But overall, I think they're lovely pens. Ooh, look at that green, that's nice. Greens! Always good to have a lot of greens. Next. Ooh, look at that colour. That's nice. I do like, they are very vibrant colours, they are very pretty. And I'm going to have to find somewhere to store them as well, which is always getting to be a problem now. 
That's a nice green. Here we go. That's a nice one too. I'm still getting covered in it. Next is this one. I do really like these. These are lovely colours, I'm not going to lie. Ooh, my phone's vibrating. I wonder if it's any exciting. Sorry, just telling me the battery's about to die. Facebook, Facebook. Mostly Facebook. Yeah, so nothing exciting. Now, have I done this one or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. <laughs> See, I get distracted so easily. A bit like Jennifer does. God, look at that, it's gorgeous. These greens, I mean, I am very impressed with the colour of colours. Like I said, the skin tones, they were a bit odd. Or well, the, the, the two of them came out rather yellowy, um, which is fine. They just don't match the caps and it, it, it took me by surprise a little bit. Um, but the colours are actually stunning. Oh, these greens are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So dark, so vibrant. Ooh, there's still one more dark one here. Oh, look at that. Stunning. So, we're on to the next pack, which is green through blues <laughs> I love doing this let's get that ready wow mm, like that And that. Look at that, it's beautiful. These blues are going to be absolutely gorgeous, I can tell. Oops. <laughs> that is lovely. I'm covered in ink now. These colours, I'm really impressed with these colours, they're stunning. I really like the colours, I do. I'm very impressed with them, I really am. So. It's a shame that they didn't. They don't have colour names and numbers printed on the barrel. That would be nice, or at least numbers. But I am very impressed with the the weight, the feel, the colour. There's a good variety of all colours. Not so many reds, but oh, I'm trying to put the same same colour down twice for some reason. I don't know why. But there's a, some orangey reds as well. I tried to put, to put it there, so. But they're, they're not that dissimilar anyway, those colours. Very nice. Nice blues. I've got a lot of it on my finger, like, as you can see. <laughs> but that's just the way I'm trying to get through them quite quickly. Because I don't want this video to be so long. 
Nice. That is gorgeous, that, that turquoise. Oh, I love it. Very pale ones coming up now. That's a nice one as well. Let me show you that one. That one. Sort of a minty green, that one. So. Nice, that's a nice one. Oops, that fell out. Beautiful, is this a bit more on there? Oh, they're all really lovely colours, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is beautiful. That one reminds me of chocolate chip ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream. That one, last tray. Oh, I'm getting cramp as well, so it's a good job. Oh, ow, I'm stretching my leg. Oh, <laughs> you don't really want to hear me moaning about me getting cramp. Last one, last tray, and this is sort of earth colours, I guess. I guess. Let's have a look. What's this one? It's a nice colour. Sort of like an olive gold, I would say. Ooh, look at that, that green ish colour in there. That is nice. I've got to move again now because I won't have enough space to put the pad on. Oh, that's nice. These are such nice tones. I really do like these. Ooh, sort of like an olive oil. Very dark. Nice, I like that. Sorry if you can hear me muttering. I do like to have a mutter. This one's very light. Um, top, sort of a pinky colour. Oh, it is. What's, oh, that looks like the roses in Dad's garden, that colour. Rose pink. Into some browns now. Oh, look at that. How beautiful that is. Last one from this stretch. Yep. Um, I do think these colours are stunning. Definitely. Very nice. Oh, I like that colour. Now I've forgotten which one I've used. Yeah, that's right. That's even darker. That is so nice. These are great colours. The variety of colours in this 120 set are very good. I'm going to say that. I do have to say. I'm very pleased with them. Very impressed. Last eight. Oh, I love that colour. And then the next one, we're on to a few greys now. It's a very nice light grey. Extremely light grey now. It'll probably be darker than that one. No, it's, oh, that's nice. It's very similar actually, but they are slightly different. This one? Ooh, that's a good colour. This is the one that's got a silvery top. Ah, it's like a very dark grey. I like that. I get darker and darker. Three more to go. Ooh, that's a nice one as well.
Oh yeah. Nice. Not too many greys, but there's, I think, just the right amount in this set. And then, of course, black. No white pen, but that's fair enough. There we go. So that's all 120 colours in the Limache pack. So we'll go back and just have a quick look at the first page again to see how they've dried. So there's that one. And that one. And that was the first page. And yeah, they've dried really nicely. Very, still very vibrant and bright, as you can see. I really like some of these reds and pinks. This is supposed to be orange, but it's an orange red. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on and colour in 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I'm just going to turn the camera off and have a quick look at a, a colour scheme. We're just going to colour the very first picture in. I don't colour the title pages for some reason. That's just me. So all the books belong to. So this is the first one we're going to do. So as you can see, there's some big bits that we could use the brushes on and there are some tiny bits that we can use the um, the fine tips on. So like in, in some of these gaps. Um, so we'll give it a go. So we'll do this one. I'm just going to go and pick out a few colours and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got some random colours um, from the Limache packet. Uh, so I have been looking into these and apparently you can use them with water, but they seem to work better if you use it on watercolour paper. Um, it doesn't really work very well on others. Now, if you can see there are some labels on these, I've been numbering them. Because they don't have a num colour number and they don't have a colour name. So where I've swatched them, I've put a, num a, a coordinating number with them, but the labels keep coming off. <laughs> So it's not the best. So I've got a random selection of colours. I've got the rest of them here in case I decide I want some more, including I've got blacks, I've got yellows, I've got some reds, oranges, blues, a couple of greens, uh, purples and a grey. And we're just going to have a look at the very first pattern in this 100 Mandalas book by uh, Camellia Angel Cova. Um, normally, like I said, normally we would use a colour in heaven book, but as we're covering a pattern, rather than a picture we're using this book so because i'm more likely to use these on patterns now with all patterns i work from the middle and i work to the, work my way out so i've got a very bright almost luminous yellow here so i'm just gonna put that in that one and as you can see it goes on very nicely so that's the brush side and if you use the fine tip side. Now I admit I don't use fine tips very often but these are very nice and they don't pull the paper up. I found some, some brands can pull the paper off if you're using the fine tip but these don't. They actually work really nicely. And the colours as we've seen in the swatch chart the colours are very very nice so would normally use the brush very carefully like this and then hmm, we'll do this big bit here Any matter which bit we do and what, but it's just to show you the different colours. They go down really nicely. I have been using these in some pattern books. And I also used it in my ancient Egypt book from Jade Summer, so and they worked really nicely in that. No blending, just putting the colours down very nicely. Now, yeah these fine points you, it is hard with these smaller spaces to get it in the lines it does go over if you're not careful but you can always use the fine tip if you so wish like I said I don't really use the fine tip much because I find it pulls the paper up on this it doesn't but I'm thinking on this particular color it would be too much to do fine tip but I have got some books I would definitely use them in um, like Lost Ocean the fine tips but they're you know Colours are very, very nice, very vibrant as you can see. And 
I just really like the way they go down. And now there are cheaper alternatives on the market but uh, these are the ones I've heard good things about Limache, the Limache brand by people who use the alcohol markers and don't have those. I'm not saying I'm not going to get them but at the moment I don't have them. I have these ones. Um, I have the I have other brands of alcohol markers you know but uh, I do like these colours for just colouring in patterns you know a lot of the times patterns I do them in gel or glitter gel but um, yeah I quite quite like this you know they look very nice there's not a lot of um, streaking you get a bit if you're not careful but not a huge amount and you wouldn't really see much on a pattern it is usually when you colour in in big sections of um, paper so yeah I do like these they're very very nice so there we go uh -huh. I think I'll use a very a nice yellow here and again as you can see how beautiful these colours are this yellow is absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to use that out here as well I love this colour yellow they're just very very nice that they they handle very well and they're very very nice to use so again as far as I'm away can't get these open stock which is always a a bit of a problem when you use something like this because you have to buy a complete set when you start running out but that is the way it is sometimes it's just life it's not the end of the world it's an annoyance more than anything else I mean like saying that you can get um, Black Widow's open stock and I just buy complete sets because I just think it works out better that way because I use so many colours from Black Widow's that um, to me it makes more sense just to buy another complete set rather than order the individuals so Oh yes, I'm going to end up with a couple that I don't use that often, but they will get used. Oh, these are nice, are yeah, they? I do like them. So. I mean, let's be honest, we like to try every single supply we can get our pools on, don't we? So, so you can see it's going out a bit. And what you could do is if you wanted to, that little point in there, you could switch it over and just, whoops, let me just take that off. Just go in there with that and then it's done the point without you actually having to uh, worry about it leaking over. But you know, you can get quite a good fine point on this as well, so very good um. so that's some of the yellows and orange and one of the reds I can just get it into the corner there, there, that's it we'll probably go back to them at the end, let's have a nice light blue. I'm going to do some blue and purple or something. Sort of bluey colour. Hmm, just deciding. I think if we do this bit, this colour. And, oops. And this bit as well. You see what I'm doing in a second. It's quite a nice bluey green colour. 
pulling that one in there. And then we'll do this bit that colour as well. There we go. So as you can see they go on fairly nicely, don't they? Very nice to use, very easy. They don't take a lot of going over to get a decent colour. I said you've got the thin bit if you want to use the, the fine point, which is great. You don't have to buy a set of brush pens and a set of fine liners, you've got the same colours because they're dual tipped, which is nice. I've got a set of pens where I've got both. But I've had to get two sets, one of fine liners and one of brush. But that is, is a cheaper brand, so. And then I think I'm going to take this bright purple and just go around that. That's a nice colour. I don't mind if colours clash, I think it can be fun. It can be real good fun to have a colour clash. As you can see, I've gone out of the lines a bit, but that is going to happen sometimes with these unless you use the fine tip. But the fine line is actually quite good on this one. Again, I'll do this pit on this side with it, just to show you. It is, it's not pulling up the paper, and that's one thing I hate is when you use a fine tip and it pulls up the paper and it makes it look stupid it looks very rough then the paper does i mean not all paper does that but um some does so there we go so i'm going to go and finish this picture and then i'll come back and uh show you what it looks like at the end okay I won't be long. So this is the finished picture from uh, doing the limaches. See it's very vibrant, very bright. I've used lots of different colours just so that you can see. Um, so my overall impression is they are lovely markers. Yes you can use them with water brushes if you want to but you, they work better on a watercolour paper which I don't have so I can't demonstrate them but from what I understand you can use them as watercolour um, markers. But they work just as well as ordinary markers as well and in fact they look very nice and they're beautiful for using on patterns like this or pictures like in the Egyptian book. Um, they were what, £25? They weren't that expensive for £120. I'd buy them again. Um, yeah, I'd buy them again. You know, obviously they're, they're cheaper than, say, for instance, the um, Arteza Twine Markers, and there's more of them in the packet. And I love my Arteza Twine Markers, as well, you know. But yeah, I do like them. I'm going to use these a lot more in the pattern books, um, such as this one. I really enjoyed doing this one with the, these markers. Um, I, if I remember, I will leave some links down below to the the Limaches um, from Amazon UK, and possibly US if I can find them on the US site. If you've enjoyed this brief um, first impressions, please please do leave me a, um, a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.